Welcome to the Eldorado County District Attorney's Office Old Case Homicide Webisodes. I'm Investigator Dave Stevenson. Each month we'll be featuring one of our over 60 cold case homicides and asking you, the viewer, to help us catch a killer. Last month we featured the unprovoked slaying of retired law enforcement officer Haley Wing, who was gunned down in his son's driveway as his wife watched. Thanks to tips from the public, investigators continue to investigate, follow up on leads, and try to bring closure to the family and our community. The Wing family has set up a $25,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the suspect or suspects responsible for Haley's murder. This month's cold case has mystery, intrigue with global drug trafficking, a possible triple homicide connection, and yes, of course, drugs and money are at the center of it all. Investigators will be searching not only the suspect, but who the victim really was. This is what a cold case looks like for investigators. Notes, pictures, ideas, thoughts, and theories. Investigators, as in this case, interpret almost 40 years of investigative reports and evidence to find that one clue which will lead them to catch a killer. With all the new technology, advances in DNA, and Prop 69 monies, which provide for a full-time forensic criminalist to analyze DNA evidence, our investigators hand deliver the fragile and delicate evidence right here to the Department of Justice Crime Lab in Richmond, California. Chief Robert Cosley and forensic criminalist Deanna Hayden discuss the case and evidence and then in a lab setting with all the decontamination and cross-contamination procedures in place, they examine the evidence fiber by fiber. Samples are then processed and DNA is extracted and tested for a match. Once a match is made, investigators work quickly to further investigate and identify the suspect. Lee Hassler graduated from Berkeley High in June of 1959, then attended Oakland City Junior College, eventually making his way here to Cal Berkeley, home of the Bears. Lee earned a bachelor's in economics at Cal and also obtained his real estate license. He later owned a bar on 3rd Street in Richmond called the Flamingo. He regularly attended the Berkeley Judo Club and earned a black belt. Lee was described as a loner, a person who kind of kept to himself and was private and didn't discuss his personal business. During late 1973 to early 1974, Lee made a home in Hanover, Germany, where he'd been living for two years. During the first week of October in 1976, Lee returned to the U.S. to what some say Lee described as a dispute over money, which he would resolve. And on October 5th, 1976, at 3 p.m., he left his mother's residence, and that was the last time she saw her son alive. On October 6, 1976, at 3.30 p.m., not far from right here where I'm standing, Lee's lifeless body was found by two hikers. The body had been dumped in an attempt to cover up Lee's murder. If you have any information regarding Lee Hassel's murder or any of our cold cases, please contact us. And remember, the friends and family never forget, and neither should we.